Hey everybody, time for another quick update video. Last few days after work I've been working on this. This is a Orc War Buggy, which is based on a resin model from a company called Ramshackle Games. Um, I did a little bit of conversion on it a little while ago and I finally decided to get around to painting it. Um, mainly because I wanted to experiment with a new uh, camo scheme, which is based in grays. Specifically I used a base of uh, light seafoam gray from Vallejo model color. And then it's used as black and German gray. And um, it's not exactly the look I wanted for the camo pattern, but it comes out okay. So I have to experiment with some different colors. And then I, I used a hairspray me method over uh, a rusty base coat, a rust, a rust painted um, base of the model. And yeah, I'm just spinning around a couple times here. This is my first time I ever painted a window, and it came out okay. And then I used some art coat on it. And at the bed of the truck here, which is mostly unpainted. I wanted it mostly rust, especially on the weld marks. Got a couple extra rockets in there just because. Um, so here's the rocket turret. And then here is the big shooter turret. And they're not magnets or anything. These are just articulated with uh, uh, eighth inch rod and three sixteenth inch tube. Um, these are a little tight, something from primer and stuff that's in there. Those are a little looser, but they tightened up with primer and paint in them. And um, then I went and used my uh, ochre pigment, you know, kind of like ground dust, which is, you know, the same color I use on all my orc basing, because it's like a, this is the color of the desert I use. And I had a little bit more rust pigment here in the bed, and um, here, specifically, especially on the exhaust pipes, it's got lots of pigments on there to make the pipes uh, good and rusty. Yeah, but I really like how it came out. It kind of kept the rust exposure just right here on the bottoms here on the, on the bottom area here and along here and kept trying to keep the paint mostly intact um, throughout the model. So I still got some experimenting to do on the um, actual camo color itself uh, but uh, using the gray over the rust it came out a lot better than um, using the red over the rust which I've done in the past because red over red rust and or red and orange rust really didn't doesn't really show up very well but this shows up much better and I figured if I do some uh, olive drab camo over the rest, it'll show up even better. And then I might be an experiment for another time. But anyway, yeah, that's it. I'll finish this guy up. Very happy how it came out. Didn't take very long to paint at all. It was all done with the, the airbrush. At least most of the work was done with the airbrush, so it doesn't take very long at all to do this. It took me a couple hours each day after work to get the entire paint job done. So yeah, and thanks for watching.